Hey everyone, so this is a different tutorial from what I usually do. Some time ago, I published a tutorial on how to make noisecore music and uh, someone in the comments asked me this. Can you do a tutorial about how to record or what you need to record a song? So today, let me tell you how to record your own songs. Without a further ado, let's start! So first things first, let's talk about the main tools you'll need. Firstly, and most importantly, you'll need a digital audio workstation or DAW, which is uh, a software used to record, edit, and mix audio. Some known options include Pro Tools, Logic Pro, GarageBand, Ableton Live, FL Studio, Traction Waveform, Reaper, BandLab, and Audacity. Next, you'll need recording equipment, such as a microphone for capturing vocals and acoustic instruments, an audio interface to connect your instruments and microphones to your computer, and studio quality headphones or speakers for listening back to your recordings or, as it is called in music production, monitoring. This is why studio quality speakers are called monitors. Studio quality headphones and monitors are designed to have a flat frequency response, meaning they don't color the sound or boost certain frequencies like consumer headphones tend to do. This allows you to hear your recordings exactly as they are, pretty much. Once you have your equipment ready and plugged in, open your DAW. Every DAW has a slightly different layout, but they all have similar functions. Let's go over some basic controls you'll need to know. The record button. This allows you to, well, start and stop recording. The play button. This allows you to play back your recorded audio. The metronome. This is a click used to stay on time with your song. The mixer. This pretty much shows you all of the tracks that you have on your song and allows you to adjust the overall levels and effects of your mix. Track controls. Here you can adjust the volume, pan, and add effects to individual tracks. Library. This is where you can browse through your software presets and patches, as well as different instruments if you connect a MIDI, keyboard, or drum pad. I'll explain in more details what MIDI is in a bit. Okay, let's record something. Make sure you set up the correct input for the track, because if you use a wrong input, you won't hear anything. If you want to hear yourself during the recording, press on the monitoring button. Now, press the record button and... Well, record. If you make a mistake, fear not, just delete the tape and re-record it. Repeat the process as many times as you need. After you've recorded your tracks, you can split, copy and paste sections of audio, loop the recording or adjust the timing and pitch. Now let's talk about MIDI. MIDI, which is an acronym for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, is a universal protocol used in music production that helps electronic instruments and computers communicate. It basically represents musical notes and their different settings in a digital format, enabling precise control over the chosen instrument's tone. If you want to program a MIDI instrument on your DAW, the process is relatively straightforward. First, you'll need to create a new MIDI track in your DAW and assign it to the desired MIDI instrument or a virtual instrument plugin. Then, using a MIDI controller, meaning a synthesizer or drum pad connected to your device, or your computer keyboard, you can record musical notes directly into the MIDI track or you can program them manually. These MIDI notes will trigger co the corresponding sounds in the virtual instrument of choice. Once you're happy with your recordings, mix your song, master it and export it in any audio format you want. If you want to learn how to mix and master your songs properly, I recommend searching elsewhere because I suck at mixing and it's better to find advices from a professional. And that's pretty much it. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Comment down below what kind of tutorial you want to see me make next. Thank you all for watching and see you all next time. Bye!